Yeah, well done, Jasper Boomer. Totally deserves it. He holds the ball up. It's his third Fifer in Test match cricket. Jasper, congratulations. Uh, your debut year of Test cricket. You've taken three five wicket hauls now in three separate countries. What do you put your success down to in Test cricket this year? No, it's been good. It's been a good start. Uh, I always wanted to play test cricket, so now playing test cricket, I've played test cricket in three different countries. So yeah, still learning. Uh, the start has been good, so hopefully keep evolving, keep learning. And just about playing at the MCG, obviously it's a great occasion, the Boxing Day test. How special is it for you? There's not many Indians who've taken five wicket hauls here. How special is that for you? It's always very special for me, be it Boxing Day, be it any other day, playing Test Match Cricket for India is, is a very big achievement for me. I always wanted to do that. So living the dream, is very, I was very happy with that. And hopefully to contribute towards the team's success is always a good feeling. I want to ask you about a couple of wickets in particular. The Shaw Marsh dismissal with the slow ball at lunch. Uh, where did you come up with that plan? And was it, was it pre-planned this morning or did you just come up with it out on the ground? No, in the morning we were discussing the wickets on the slower side, so maybe you could use the slower balls. But when I was just bowling before lunch, the wicket was not doing quite a lot. The ball had become soft. So Rohit was there at mid-off, so he thought that it's a last ball, you could try a slower ball. So maybe the, uh, uh, he told me that you use it quite a lot in white ball cricket, you could still try. So yeah, it, uh, the execution was good and we got a wicket on the last ball. So you have to thank Rohit Sharma for that wicket? Yeah, for the suggestion, obviously. <laughs> You hadn't, have you bowled many slow balls in the series so far or are you on pace deliveries mostly? Uh, not many slow balls so far but yeah, the wicket over here is on the slow side so maybe sometimes batsmen play with hard hands so you could get, you'd come and play. So that was the plan going there. And your dismissal of Marcus Harris, obviously you hit him on the helmet last night. Was it a tactic this morning to target him with the short ball? Over here in the first innings as well we saw our, our batsmen, four of our batsmen got out on the short ball. So we kept an eye what is happening on the wicket. Over here the wicket's on the slower side so the ball short ball, it's always on the head. So it's difficult to negate the short delivery. So that was the plan and we got a wicket so it's a good day. And also the field set by your captain Virat Kohli to have two men in short on the leg side, that was obviously part of that tactic? Yes, obviously because whenever we bowl any kind of deliveries, we always discuss with the captain, so we we'll try to set the field according to that. So yeah, it was a good day, it worked and yeah, so really happy. Just talk us about your action, it's obviously a very unique action, short run up. Do you, how are you able to generate so much pace from just a couple of steps? Maybe power, but yeah. but. I can't uh, explain that why this action developed. I, as a kid, I used to watch a lot of television. I used to copy everybody's action. So maybe it jumbled up. But uh, yeah, the run-up is small because I used to play a lot of tennis ball cricket. So there, the backyard was small. So that was the only place where I could do it. But yeah, for, for me, my always, uh, I always focus on consistency. If you bowl quick, that's good. But if you're not consistent, you'll, go, you'll not get rewards. So that's always my focus all the time. Obviously you played a couple of years of white ball cricket for India for a while and there was a feeling that you maybe weren't ready for test cricket. Did you ever doubt that you were, were able to, to perform in the test level as well? I would never doubt it because I had played a lot of first class cricket. I had done relatively well in first class cricket as well. So I was always confident that whenever I get a chance, uh, I would be able to do well taking the confidence from first class cricket because I used to love playing in 4D cricket when you play it back home. So yeah, I always wanted to play test cricket and living the dream is the best feeling. And just finally, you played early in your career at the Mumbai Indians alongside a lot of greats of the game. Who has been a, a big influence on your career, a former player perhaps who's influenced you? There's not a single player that has played a lot uh, of influence. Yes, I played um, in the IPL, yes. But in Test Match Cricket, I always uh, credit first class cricket because over there you develop. IPL is four overs. Over here you have to bowl continuously. So first class cricket has really helped me to shape up my career, even in one day cricket and in Test Matches.